Starbeams Audio. Thank you for listening to the Starburns Audio Podcast Network. We have so many great comedy shows to add to your playlist. Just last week on Starburns Audio, on the season two premiere of Humans Who Make Games, Adam Conover talks to comedian Ron Funches and Jean Goudon, creative director of the Assassin's Creed series. On Boogie Monster, Cal Kinane and Dave Stone share a perfect recipe for the quarantined cook. This week on Profiles and Eccentricity, they cover the history of the Khorasan Unity Cult, folks for whom a flat earth is ridiculous because they believe it's really a concave shell. Search Starburns Audio on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or any podcast platform for our full list of shows featuring hosts like Joe Coy, Amanda Seals, Jessica Chobot, and Jackie Johnson. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Starburns Audio. Enjoy the show. Stay safe. Stay healthy and keep laughing. Dan and Rand and Jay will share tales of folks so unaware they lack in grace and sometimes choose the life they choose will make the news. Breaking down each epic fail in Florida, there's half price bail. I'm happy to say they couldn't make this up. So listen to our podcast jam with co-host Arm and Dan. Then hurt, don't be a jerk. Cause when the music quits, the funny hits and we are gonna take you down. Stick around, make a sound, hunger down, it's Dumb People Town. Hey, Townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb People Town. Population News. Population Coy. Joe Coy, welcome to Dumb People <laughs> yes, Town. Yes, dude. Man. It, it, this is, I'm so happy that you're here because I've always felt that you as a comedian and certain bits of yours, signature bits of yours, you have attacked the absolute utter dumbness of humanity yeah, in the best you. possible way. But that's what we do. We yeah. study behavior yeah. and we say, what is stupid about this? And how what can is I, dumb about a drunk how, yeah. girl peeing very intensely and staring like at a you horse. while she's doing yeah, it? Yes, you know yes, what I yes. mean? Yeah. I, I think uh, when you, uh, when you're going to talk about your son, I, it, it, <laughs> that's what I do. I look at my son and go, yeah. okay, he's doing something stupid. <laughs> I, am I did gonna it get too. Mad? I, I did, did it too. Yeah, uh, why am I going to get mad at my son when I did the same shit? He got caught stealing at Macy's. My son has so much money. Mm-hmm. He he has a bank account that people would die for right now. And he's, he stole at Macy's. Bro, I was so he has a debit card that's always got money on it, so Jesus he can eat Christ. when I'm not in town. Mm-hmm. Got everything. He stole for the thrill of it. He mm. stole in front of the guy that no. actually does security. Dumb. Jesus. He took the pajama. Stupid. Pull a pajama. Ooh, is your son Winona Ryder? My son is fucking stupid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's part of the fan club. I think it was like a, some type of thing that he had to do to get into the you fan get club. Into the Winona Ryder fan club by doing that. Stranger, Stranger, things, things, Stranger things have happened. And he and, stop it. Oh, that's that's funny. Funny. Very Very sorry. Sorry. Yes, yes, and all that your that was a good call back. That was really good. Thank you. So yeah, it's just put on the check this out. He puts on the fucking. He goes into the into the the dressing room. Does he grab? Two pairs, and mm-hmm. that's that's already the dumb yep, thing. First you got to make two pair look like one pair. Yeah. That's how you do it. Thank you try you. on, you steal, and then you bring the one out and go. Right. Oh, he brought it back yeah, out. I didn't right. like he didn't these. Steal anything. Yeah, yeah. One. I didn't like these. He brought like these. the one pair in, came out with nothing. Uh, Where did that pair go? See, right? Dan He's a magician. At, Dan yeah, worked at Marshall's. Dan, no, you were Marshall Fields. Marshall Fields. Marshall Fields. That's really Macy's. Yeah, yeah. It's a Macy's now. It's a Macy's now. That was my job. was a secret shop. His son stole from you, Dan. So check this. Check this out. Check this out. They put him in a little jail. Good. Mm-hmm. This is real talk. Macy's jail. They take a picture of him yeah. and they ban him from Macy's. Good. He's not allowed in there. Not even right? a parade. Yeah. So, so, so to- we go shopping and we walk into Macy's and he goes, you know, I'm not allowed to be in here, right? That's Dad? right. Mm-hmm. Like he he's likes a fugitive. It. Like he's it's like a badge of honor. <laughs> he goes, you know, there's a picture of me in their wall, Dad. God They're probably damn. looking at me right now. And I go, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody Let's cares get about out you here. that much. Right. Yeah. I love Macy's. Why are you taking Macy's yeah, away why'd from you me? Take, they have a polo section. The only pictures why you, you take- want to be on the walls are dry cleaners and diners. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Not Macy's. Dan, why don't you do a show called Dry Dry Cleaners, Diners, and Dives? Diners and Dry Cleaners. and Dives. All right. Well, let's get into this because we believe that 
the world is getting dumber yes. a, as we speak. It's like a dumb way of hitting our world and our country. And the only way to fight back is through comedy. And we have great fans. They send us these amazing stories, Joe. And uh, Dan gets them. And, and let's we can fire just, one let's, off. Let's fire ready? one off. You ready? Let's yes. jump into one. Here we go. To try and understand the dumbness. Speaking of kids doing dumb shit. Sent okay. in by Buckley Wilkinson. Who just, uh, Buckley Wilkinson. Who contributed. I love that. Who's, yeah. Who's part At of it. B.H. Wilkinson 78. Right. Thanks, I think Buckley. it should be Buckley Can Wilkinson. Can I just say so, something? Yeah. If Dumb People Town were like an animated series, which it is, right? Yeah, it will yeah. be, hopefully. Yeah. There should be a character named Buckley, Buckley Wilkinson, Wilkinson the third. Yes. He works <laughs> at a library, but he's only allowed to shelve the books. <laughs> right. Right. Don't they suggest. Don't he never no. suggests books. Hey, allowed. Buckley, what's a good read? No. Hey, hey. Uh, this to, has pictures. Okay. Buckley, yeah, yeah. Go back. Here. Buckley, Please. fucking go to the Come Bible on. section. Please get to the Bible. Yeah. All right, ready? This <laughs> takes place in Brooklyn, Ohio. What? I did not what? know that was a place. That's, no, that's very place. far out. Wait, wait, what is it about Ohio that just steals other famous city names like Miami, Ohio, yeah. Lima, yeah. Brooklyn, Lima. Ohio, Lima? Yeah. All right, let's get the fuck out. A Cleveland boy. Mm -hmm. led police on his second high-speed chase with police in 13 months. Mm -hmm. This time, he did it because his mother took away his PlayStation. Mm. Okay. Does your son have a PlayStation? Uh, he doesn't really like it that much. Doesn't love he, has that. A, okay. he gave it to the uh, house cleaner. Okay. Oh, it was the most beautiful really? thing I've ever seen my son do. That's, Just so he could he steal goes, it He goes, Dad, back. I don't. And then he stole it. <laughs> and then he stole it. He stole he it actually broke into their house and cleaned it. <laughs> God damn and then it. took his fucking machine At back. At least he cleaned the house. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That, is true. Uh, that is true. That So his mom took away his PlayStation. He said, I'll show you. Yeah. I'll get I'm, arrested. I'm not going to lead the police on a high speed chase. I mean, Jason, you you have a son who loves video games. He is so into do they, does he love oh, having wait, it taken I'm away? Sorry. My son is into Fortnite. Fortnite though. is, <laughs> and he, but it's on an Xbox, right. yeah, and he does yeah, play yeah. that. It's, it's like a social thing. But yeah, it's like transcendent. That's what it is. It is called. insane. Yeah. Dan, you're about to come over to my house and help me set up the Xbox, which I is am. his I'm ten year to. birthday present. Okay, oh, continue. that's beautiful. Oh, did you buy it for him already? I did, and because if you don't, I have an extra one. Oh, <laughs> why? Yeah, I oh, swear. I'm in the market. I'll give it to you. I'm in the market. I'll buy it. Boom, yeah. it's yours. Bro. No, what? I'm not going to sell it. It's, it's yours. To you. Oh, Dan, you just got an Xbox. You. But now that you offered, yeah, fuck it. Okay. 200. Hold on. 200. Talk about dumb people. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, you're going to give it to me? How about $200? <laughs> I'm going to negotiate God, with myself. Host. Exactly. <laughs> All right, it's uh, money. I'm, I'm, I'm too deep. I mean, yes, I'm Donnie Brasco in dumb people town. What did this kid do? The boy was arrested after the crash and is being housed in the Cayuga Hoga. I don't know why Cuyahoga. couldn't they have just Cuyahoga. Nah, they should have just called it Chicago, mm -hmm. uh, Chicago, <laughs> Ohio County Juvenile Center. Mm -hmm. uh, formal charges have not been filed. All right, here's what happened. The boy stole his mother's 2013 Dodge Durango at about 10:45. So this thing's got some like muscles. Yeah. Yeah. Five-year-old yeah. car. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunday after they, that's him and his mother, got into an argument about his mother taking away his PlayStation. Mm. What are okay. you going to do? I took it away. I'm gonna can, go I steal ask, your can I ask Durango. for a, can I ask for the backstory? What did he do? La what what he this is second time in 13, 13 months. months. Let's try and figure Let's it out. Let's get the first one. Let's figure it out. Maybe there's a pattern here. I know. So here's my question. She your your son is 15. Nuggets. Yeah. Your son is 15. Yeah. I'm assuming this kid's 16 cuz he's driving. Sure. Okay, 16 or 17. At what point can you not take stuff away from your kids? No, you can take away things until um, 18. As long then as they legally, live there. legally, you can't take anything away after 18. But I'm saying, like, his this, mom had to know, I'm going to take this away and some shit's going to come back at me. But right? we, no, no, no. But we, we are at a time in our country where, like, if you break up with someone, they'll come to your work and shoot you like yeah. that. That's where we're at now. Like you can't fire anyone. You can't break up with anyone. You can't discipline your kids or they're going to steal your car and crash it. Right. It is a messed up time. This is a, <laughs> an example of that in my mind. Yeah. Well, I'm not, it's nothing funny about maybe that. Maybe he but felt like true. he owned the car. So yeah. she, you can have the PlayStation. I'll, maybe I'll he thought it was a trade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe he thought he was in a real life Grand Theft Auto and he was like, Here I'm going to go. play it for yeah. real. I'm yeah. going to yeah. play Grand Theft Auto for real. Yeah. Yeah. He well, the mother wife. Well, the mother Grand Theft Auto, Brooklyn. Ohio. Yeah, yeah. I love that already. Ohio. It's a location piece. <laughs> all Look, Grand Theft Auto should take place in Ohio. All of them. Right? And you and you get more points when you run over people. Brooklyn, <laughs> Miami, more points. Lima. Yeah. The mother Grand went to bed. Swing state. The mother went to bed, proving don't go to bed angry, even if it's with your kids. Yeah. Or if you're a mother of a kid who you just took an Xbox away from, don't go to bed. Yeah, she don't go to bed. She told police yeah. that she noticed her keys were missing uh -huh. and later got a call from the boy's father saying he saw the boy driving the SUV on West 117th Street what? in Memphis Avenue. So, so mom and dad aren't living together. I, no, or okay. I don't Obviously, know. Obviously, that, that's obvious. That's so obvious. Imagine that. Be like, yeah. oh, you want custody? Okay, fine. <laughs> Two months later. Hey, I just saw our... Kid driving 
yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know that that was directed at her like she fucked up. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like you know that the, for sure. And you know he did it in a dickish way. Hello, middle of the night. What are you up to? I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping right now. Cool. Oh, so you're uh, not riding in the car with our son who's yeah. parading around? Yeah. yeah, you weren't laying down in the back seat of that <laughs> SUV I had to fucking buy you? <laughs> Have you ever used anything that your son's done against the mother? Or no. Any, no, never no, like that. It, you're not, you know, you're it's, not it's, vindictive it's, like that. I'm not, man. Me and her are like really, really best because friends. That's team. Yeah, team. That is We're really good, good man. She lives right next to me. I moved her right next to me. That's great. Nice. Yeah. No, that's anyway, for sorry, you, I didn't mean to say that. No, but I like it. I didn't mean to bring it down. No, you're no, not bringing it's it cool. down. I, I like moved that. her right next to me. I just want to make sure I can see all of her moves. Anyway, so. <laughs> the boy's father chased after the boy, and the boy tried to hide by pulling into the former Brooklyn Fire Station on Memphis Avenue. Add that to the Dumb People Town Walk. That is a pro move, by yeah. the way. Yeah. He pulls into an old fire station yep. after, and loses his dad. However, by the way, great move. That's like a movie. Yeah, that's, that's like Cannonball that's a, Run. That, that's Cannonball Run. Yeah, I'm going to tell you for the sake of the story, this kid is not 16, just so you know. Oh, so he's like. That's, there's a reason I keep saying boy. Okay. 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 We'll get to that oh, later. God. Oh, oh, okay. oh yes. man. Yeah. I love Hanger, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I love so it. So cool. This is so fun. So the boy's father chased after the boy. He tried pulling into a former Brooklyn fire station on Memphis Avenue. If this kid is seven, dad. I'm going to lose my oh, shit. I, I'm already a losing Brooklyn my shit. A Brooklyn police officer hey, noticed. I'm from Brooklyn, Ohio. Hey, I know where hey, all hey, this hey, shit is. Hey, do you know where the keys to my mom's Durango? Hey, I'm going to pull this shit. Hey, you chasing me? Watch this, four eyes. I'm going to go in this old fire station. Johnny No PlayStation yeah, driving yeah. around in a Durango. Hey, I thought this thing had a hammy. <laughs> <laughs> a Brooklyn police officer <laughs> noticed someone pulling into the fire station uh -huh. and stopped to see if they needed help. Of course. Hey, so is there a fire? What's <laughs> going on? What is this oh, What's this? Oh, yeah. I bet he's hey. mad about it. What's this uh, knucklehead uh, hey, one? Hey, buddy, I'm what trying to enjoy help? a donut over what here, what and then help? you're just going to pull into some abandoned oh. firehouse? Oh. What's hey. going on? I'll oh. see a freaking fire. Get your Dodge Durango oh, ass man. out of this abandoned fire. I'm trying to hide from my dad. I got this fucking guy over hey, here. This fucking guy. Hey, hey you acting like someone took your fucking PlayStation hey, or something. Huh? <laughs> hey, this, it, it, you, better, you better have a good reason or this ain't Brooklyn, yeah. Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> the I boy. Oh, the boy shit. immediately sped off, driving the wrong way on Memphis Avenue, of blowing through Duh. stoplights and weaving in and out of traffic. Okay, this is where it gets Memphis scary. Avenue yeah. in Ohio. Yes. Yeah, Memphis Avenue. Memphis, 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 Memphis Avenue. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> nobody, Avenue. nobody drives the wrong way down here in Memphis, Ohio. <laughs> hey, uh, all right, hey. now listen here, man. All right, listen Ohio. here, man. You gonna drive a Durango? You gonna have to drive a right. Come on, man. Come on, slow down. Take it slow. Chased him into Cleveland, and the boy turned off the SUV's lights. This is pro. That is a kid. pro fucking this move. Kid. He hit 87 miles per hour on what? Pearl Road and By was the way, driving. One more mile per hour and the flux capacitor goes flush. He goes into shit. In you go to 1984. <laughs> yeah. Goes back in time. God, and was driving between 70 miles. They don't miles. even have PlayStation 4s in 1984. Where <laughs> no. are you going, kid? Dude, you're and fucked. You're going to go and fucking get an Atari? Yeah. Atari bowling. Yeah. Slow down, butt fuck. He was going between 70 and 90 miles per hour oh throughout the chase, Holy according to reports. The officer lost sight of the SUV, SUV after about four miles. So he wow. loses that he's lost his dad. And he's lost and an, he's a, lost a the police cop, officer. And he's lost the trust of oh his mother. God. Is this an episode of Starsky and Hutch? <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? He's he lost, lost the police, police officer, officer, his, his father, and the trust of his, his mother. <laughs> Shit, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to walk on that. No. Hey, great. Hey, can we mark that? 1249. No, we're man. good. We're Let's good. cut my fucking walk no, out there. No, no, who cares? No. We're all in the town Dude, together. We're all in this together. Man. We all have a Why steering wheel. Why don't you take wheel. me to? Dump, 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 dump. There you go. Uh, so the officer, after about four miles, he loses the cop, but another Brooklyn officer got on and picked up chase for another two more miles. So now Jeez. he's got another cop chasing this him. This is insane. Wow. That officer also lost sight of him. Come on. This kid is baby driver. Yeah. He's yeah, baby he driver. He, he, this he, kid he, has no idea that someone's chasing him. He's just listening to old R&B songs in his iPod. <laughs> flying. In his AirPods. Yeah. Uh, the officer lost sight of him, but a Parma Heights officer spotted the SUV and chased it for a sh short time. So this is his third, third officer police that officer. Not, okay. Parma Heights called off the chase. So now he just gets them to give up. It's like, get up. 
Get about out. 25 minutes later, the boy crashed into a parked truck on West Shaft Road Thank in God. Cleveland's old Brooklyn neighborhood. Oh, the so old. So now, if you're keeping hey, track, hey, oh, Brooklyn. Hey, it's old oh, Brooklyn. We are from hey, the old hey, Brooklyn. Hey, hey. We just come to this country. Uh, we don't even know what an America's all <laughs> yeah, about. Are yeah. you, hey, you ready hey, to my fruit cup? This is my mom's vintage old original spaghetti hey, recipe. When we, when we came to a Brooklyn, a Cleveland, it was before LeBron and James was even a here. Hey, LeBron and James, what is he, a black hey, guy? The first hey. time, LeBron and James. LeBron and James, before the decision, hey. he said, yeah, I'm going to take my Italians to South Beach, and now he's a back, and then he's a gone again. <laughs> You're crying. <laughs> I don't know. The SUV flipped over after oh, the crash, oh, but shit. the boy walked out of the SUV of and did, collapsed. Yeah. According to police reports, <laughs> he was taken to Metro Health, where he was treated for scraps and cuts to his scraps left scraps or scrapes. Uh, I think scraps. it's a typo. Scrapes scraps. and oh, cuts. Yeah, scrapes. scraps and cuts. Yeah. Scrapes and cuts. Oh my god, to this his... kid's suffering from a ton of scraps. Scraps, scraps and, and cuts, cuts to me. Scraps and cuts to me sounds like the crazy. Craziest gay night at a bar, yeah. Yeah. or, or oh, what you feed your dogs, or what you're like, hey, did yeah. you, you got to go? Did you give store? Roman the scraps and cuts? <laughs> yeah, yeah, give him the rest of those scraps. I on went the table. to the butcher and I got the scraps and cuts for Roman, but nobody gave it to him. Well, he was treated for scrapes and cuts to his <laughs> oh, left oh, hand scrapes. and wrist. He was later released from the hospital. Just that's all. That's his to. masturbating hand. Yeah, this is what I love. Just PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the boy told police he wasn't being chased at the time of the crash, and that he crashed because he wasn't paying attention. Wow. So he's letting everybody. No, no, no! I want you, you guys, guys to know. didn't catch me. Yeah, Nobody, you didn't catch I me. I caught me. myself. Yeah, the only thing I'm really good at Mario Kart. Yeah. I want you to know I'm really good at Mario Kart. Sunday's yeah, incident marks the second time the boy stole the mom, mom's car and led police on a lengthy pursuit. The first happened in October 26 of 2017. Oh. In that case, the boy was waiting for his sister to take him to school when he stole his mother's car and sped away. He's the boy's mother patient. jumped in another one of their cars and followed him. She called 911 and told dispatcher she was following her son as he drove west on 117th Street, then on Interstate 90. The state patrol picked up the chase when the boy entered I-80. At one point, I love this, a trooper pulled up next to the boy. This is the previous chase. This is the earlier yeah. chase, 13 months earlier. And motioned for him to stop. The boy looked at the police officer and shook his head before speeding <laughs> up. Holy nope. shit. This guy doesn't nope. give a shit. Just a good old boy. <laughs> That's crazy. Never mean it no harm. <laughs> Just the good old boy. Just the good old boy. Just, Just the good, good old boy. boy. From all of Brooklyn. Hey. The it's boy Brooklyn. drove some 100 miles per hour wow. on I-90. God. That's dangerous. That's I know. video game stats. Yeah. Stun drivers called Westlake police and reported seeing a young boy speeding and his mother tailing him. Imagine that's your commute. Because oh, this is in the morning while yep. he was supposed to be going yep. to school. Yep. No one was injured in the incident. <laughs> Two weeks before that, no. the boy took his mother's car and sped on Interstate 90 until three of his tires blew out. Okay. Wait a minute. Is this the, so yes. he did it three times? Three times. Three times. Three times. Three times. Three times. They don't Sorry. have a three strikes or you're, you're, you're out in Ohio? <laughs> they should. The boy, Come on, man. The boy took his mother's car and told the police he did it because he was bored. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, we're going to get out of here on this. I'm going to ask you guys, how, how old is, is this boy? boy? Too much fun leaves marks in life. Living hard, you'll pay the price. Who is going to get it right? Guess the age. Guess the Okay, now you have, you two have boys. I'm going to really defer to you guys. You are our oh. guest. You can either. You already told us he's not 16. He doesn't have he's a license. He's not 16. So you not have non license. license. Now, listen, you Three can. Three times, 100 can, miles per hour. You can guess first on, can I, or I, between I, us, which is the TIG spot. Yeah, you want to go third. first, you go TIG first or third? in the middle or third? Where do you want to guess? I want to go in between. Okay, so okay, you're in the TIG spot. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. I got one go, more question. Go for Now, you said he's not 16 and he doesn't have a license. Does he not have a license and he's older? I, I I will tell you he has not reached the age of sixteen. Okay. That's okay. what we need to hear. Okay. That's okay. what so we needed to Jason, hear. Jason, you go first, then Joe, and then me. Oh, okay. I like this. Now take in everything you know. This is so fun. Hundred miles per hour. Blew out three tires. Maintain control of the car. Do you know I? You know Stamina. I'm. I'm in my forties. I'm in my late forties. <laughs> I can't hit. A, I can't no. hit hundred. No. No. I get nervous. <laughs> I get nervous. I get nervous at ninety four. Starts to shake. All right. Mm-hmm. Think Depends about if you went to the Maserati. Loves yeah. PlayStation. Uh huh. Uh, stays up late. 13. This Wanted people 13 to know old. that the only reason he crashed is because he wasn't paying attention, but none of you a holes. Kid's 13. Catch- okay. 13 years old. I, the kid is. No, no, no. You're not. I am not. Go ahead. How old do you think he is? Since he's in Ohio mm-hmm. and these kids start driving young mm-hmm. and, he's a, and, and he's an expert mm-hmm. at PS4. Mm-hmm. 
He probably drove the whole time going X triangle, X triangle. <laughs> 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 right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, sure. X yeah. triangle, yeah. X triangle, yeah. right trigger, now right trigger, accelerate. Uh -huh. I'm going to say 11. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to say 11. I think he's 14 years old. Okay. okay. 14. God All right. It. So Jason says 13. 13. Joe? 11. 11. 11. Randy? Thir uh, 14. Okay. One of you. He's exactly right. Okay, oh. now, now, so now, now there's another game within yes. the game. Yes, this game we guess. Who do you think is right? Who do you, right? you think is right? Who do you think? Mr. Is right? I got a, you, you, you can I go got a first, feeling. I already know third. who the winner is. So okay. I have a feeling. Think, you want to know who I? Yeah. And, and this is based off of your reaction. Okay. No, okay. The who, way he reacted when someone responded. Okay. Um, this is your face. This okay. is why you can never lie. Okay. If if the cops were to ask you a question, <laughs> okay. you would fucking tell them the truth by lying. Okay. Because your face fucking says, "You ready?" And I think you know. Too. Uh, okay. You know who. So who? You know who. Tell me. Randy. Okay. Okay. 100 percent right. so When you said your answer, Randy, his face went like this. I think Look, I'm he, right too. What did he do? He went like this. He went like this. When you said your answer, what he went like do? this. He went. <laughs> oh, he made an eye. Yeah, eye he lift. did the eye, the okay. eye lift thing. Okay. Joe Coy, for a brief moment, was not. He removed all of the Asian in him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eyes got okay. completely got wider. Huge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Eyes wide open. I'm I gonna say me. Joe says me. Who do I you? say me. Okay. 13. Okay. You know, I'm playing in a poker game tonight, and you've given me something to think, <laughs> think about. Yeah. All right, I was you. right. Was okay. I right? Where are your sunglasses? The boy who was Townies mad about his PlayStation answer. being taken away. Come on, man. Was mad at his sister when he was supposed to go to school. We know all this. Come on. Give us the answer. It's the buildup. Got Come bored on. and blew oh, out three tires. You avoided his we dad. Know that we know three the cops stuff. got them to go off. Wrecked his car. Yeah, he 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 shook off the cop when he said pull over. Get your answers in now, Tony's, because the boy yeah is uh. eleven years old. <laughs> Joe Coy. That's right, sir. You, you think I don't know how to hold a poker you face? You son of a bitch. You don't, you don't think you I know how to bitch. You were all in and I, I fell for it. You motherfucker. <laughs> so you bluffed me hard. I did. You fucking I did. asshole. I knew when I made that uh, When you looked at Randy, I thought for sure. Oh, and he took the bait. And you didn't believe yeah. in yourself. I took the bait. I had the right. best hand, man. You did. I had you four aces, down. man. You laid it down. took the bait. You had 11 aces. One story down. All right, there you go. One segment down in the books. Joe Coy is with us. I'm so happy he's here. That was a killer story. Stay with us. We got two more left. Uh, this is Dumb People Town. Stick around. Make a sound for more Dumb People Town. Working remotely can be a challenge, especially for teams that are new to it. How do you deal with your work environment being the same as home while staying connected and productive? And then there's your newest coworker, the cat. Well, your friends at Trello have been powering remote teams globally for almost a decade. At a time when teams must come together more than ever to solve big challenges, Trello's here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, is an app with an easy-to-understand visual format, plus tons of features that make working with your team functional and just plain fun. Trello keeps everyone organized and on the same page, helping teams communicate, focus, and connect. Teams of all shapes and sizes at companies like Google, Fender, Costco, and likely your favorite neighborhood coffee shop all use Trello to collaborate and get work done. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Trello dot com. Hey, guys. Welcome back to DPT. Uh, Joe Coy, great follow on Twitter yes. and, uh, and on Instagram. Tell them how, what the address exactly At is. Joe Coy, J-O-K-O-Y. J-O-K-O-Y. And the and what's your website so people can come see you live? J-O-K-O-Y dot com. And, Go listen to his, com. and listen to his podcast. We just did his podcast, uh, the Koi which Pond. is up now. Fantastic. Amazing. So fun. That was such a joyful romp of an hour that we got to hang with you. Well, you I guys loved are just so brilliant. Much. Dude, That's so all that fun. is. Yeah. You guys I, are fun. I love hanging with you and your energy as evidence on that first mm -hmm. story. Yeah, you right. are perfectly designed for this right now. Hey, let me uh, just say something real yeah. quick. Yeah. First of all, fashionably, I've always complimented you guys. Always. You're the best. Always. Always. I, and always. you know that. This uh, is not a lie. I'm not kissing no. your ass. Since nope. day no, one, no. since I met you on Chelsea, I always said, I love who it. the fuck buys your clothes? And then you guys <laughs> said, we do. I thought for sure your wives did. Uh, but I will say this. When you said DPT, I already saw a shirt. DPT? Like the coolest shirt. I love it, dude. Make a DPT shirt. Oh, yeah. We've got, we right now, a black shirt, like a nice black sweater, like that yeah. brand right there, yeah, that style, right. the yeah. vintage look with yeah. like just like the old, the the box letter, uh, collegiate letters. You but know like, what I mean? You're talking there about you like sewn on. Sewn on, yeah. DPT, yeah. done, done that, bro. Go. I will buy it. Okay, okay. done. Beat. Joe love Coy it. said done. it. Let's make it happen. It Josh Need, be. if you're listening, let's make that happen. Uh, Dan, let's get into story number two, bro. I'm going to. And I want to remind everybody if you want to come do this live with us on January 11th, we will be at Sketchfest. That's just in a couple of 
takes away. Cops so come Comedy hang out Club. with us. Ron Funches. going to be a blast. The Sklar's birthday that night. <gasps> At our birthday on the 12th. Holy we turned 40. Okay, here we go. Ready? Sent in by Sean Anderson at Sean70, S-H-A-W-N-E-7-0. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Sean. Here we go. A group of would-be thieves were prevented from robbing a store in Belgium Saturday. Good place, by the way. Right. After the owner said he didn't have enough money in the cash register and asked them to come back later. That is a pro move from that guy. Uh, (laughs) I love it. Let's schedule this robbing. Let's let's do this uh, at four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, After I do the bank drop. Yeah, just before sunset. (laughs) A group group of would-be thieves. Yeah. To identify your group of people as a group of would-be anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's running that group? Your son? Yeah. yeah, That's not a smart group of thieves. (laughs) The owner, who was identified by CNN affiliate RTL as Didier, D-I-D-I-E-R, Didier, runs an e-cigarette shop on the outskirts of the Belgian city of, I'm sorry, C-H-R- L E R O I Charlotte Charlotte I don't know Charlotte he Charlotte, said Charlotte, Charlotte, man. Charlotte, Belgium. Belgium. Charlotte Belgium Charlotte Belgium Charlotte Belgium Charlie the Hornets used to play Belgium there. Ohio Yeah 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 the Muggsy Hornet, Bogues the, the Hornets Muggsy Bogues the Hornets 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 own an e-cigarette store in Brussels. Expect it to get hit at least once a year. Oh, once a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. You gotta have, yeah, that you gotta have be, a plan. Yeah, you gotta have a plan. They showed up in the middle of the afternoon noon demanding money. Mm-hmm. In an attempt to defuse the situation, Didier told the group to come back at the end of the day when he when he would have more cash in the till. Boom. Great idea. Yes. Yeah, Great idea. At the end of the day when look, I have I'm more cash in the till. Let, let me yeah, yeah, yeah. help you yeah, yeah, yeah. rob yeah. Look, me. Look, I've been looking forward to getting robbed <laughs> all year. But I want it to be worth it. I Guys, want it to be well worth this it, This is not going to be fun for you because you I'm went through the whole process. Yeah. I'm embarrassed at what you're taking. Guys, I feel like a bad, like I'm running let, a bad I'm business a bad host. Here. Listen to me. You're not robbing me. I'm giving it to you. I don't want the cops going on here and be like, how much do you and then I have to say that little money. That's going yeah, yeah, to be good for This is an advertising opportunity yeah. for me when I get this you written want, up in the newspaper. You want to embarrass my business? Come on. If I'm going to tell this story and say that I got mad. robbed, I want to make sure I look like I've been robbed. Yes. yes. I can't even All go right? to the insurance company with that. Yeah, that's bullshit. That's a ridiculous. The, the, the amount, the cost of the paperwork alone at the insurance company yeah, is more than what it. I would It's not worth it. DDA said, quote, I told them, I told them clearly. That 3 p.m. is not the best time to hold up a store. He's giving these guys notes. <laughs> Let me yeah. teach you guys. Now yeah. he's like a parent. How do you think I started this business? <laughs> I robbed other businesses at 4.30. <laughs> what are you guys, a bunch of whoopee yeah. idiots? <laughs> I'm trying to make you guys entrepreneurs. Why don't you guys go across the street to Macy, stand in front of the goddamn there security go. guard, and try and to steal pajamas. Take one pajamas. pair of boxers yeah. in there. If you're yes. going to be like this. Yes. You got six arms. Come on, man. <laughs> Quote, he says, to them, he goes, you'll take a thousand bucks, but if you come back tonight, you might be able to take more. Yeah. He's like Wayne Brady. I, yeah, uh, man. Literally. I love it. Yeah, let's make a let's deal, make bro. A let's deal. Make a Do you want, you want what's in the box or what's behind door number <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Incredulously, the group left and Didier was able to phone the police. Yes. Duh. That's they, what he was planning the whole time. They weren't the brightest, he said, adding that the police didn't think that the criminals would return. So the cops were like, they're not coming back. They're not course. coming back. We're not, not we coming. don't have to be yeah. there. We're right. not like, idiots, man. They're not mm-hmm. falling for that there <laughs> would be a group yeah. of would be idiots. These are robbing. Said. These are robbing pros. Yes, they okay? know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. But they at, know a setup when they see it. But at five thirty p.m., motherfucker, oh who came back <laughs> with a full tank of gas for the getaway, <laughs> ready to go. Here a we go. Bag. The group yeah. did return. I hope when they walked in, you he was didn't like, think right, we did would come back with from Charlet. <laughs> show me the list and show me that you checked off everything yes. we talked about. Yeah, did he hear? Once again, called their bluff and told the group it was not closing time. <laughs> You're quote, kidding me. Quote, I berated them saying, you have to buy a watch. I said it's 5.30, not 6.30. I'm and selling they watches left. over there. Yeah. He they kicked l- them out again. He said, now he's he just said, I said, fun. come back yeah. when I'm closing. Yeah. You're that, an hour By early. the way, that one was for him. All by right. the way, also, though, in his defense, without the cops there, he's leading them to believe that he's not going to call the cops. Mm. Right. So he's kind of hustling them in that moment. Were Come the, on back. The, the description of these would-be robbers, were they little tiny yellow people? <laughs> <laughs> were they were they the minions? minions? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the only group That's of, the only group of idiots that would that, fuck it up. Yeah, this that would yeah. fuck it up, man. Oh, man. So they tried to show up at 530. Oh, he kicked them out. Oh, they too late coming back. So oh. they left. Yep. They left. 
When the group returned a third time, no, motherfucker. Come on. <laughs> you got to be kidding on. me. This is the third time. These man. are the dumbest people on the planet. Yeah. Plainclothes policemen were waiting to apprehend him. Five people were arrested, including a minor and a six alleged offender ran away. They had one half smart person in yeah. the entire like, I'm by the door. Yeah. That yeah. is unbelievable. That I told you it was story? a setup. And he took off. <laughs> I just love that they came back th- two more times. I bet Three you there was. I bet you there was one store. person that was in that group that went. That's not a real cop car. Yeah, yeah. Let's exactly. go in. <laughs> Let's go in. Like, no, they were like, guys, Didier's testing us. He's <laughs> testing us, man. <laughs> okay. He probably hired some actors. It got a real live cop car. That's we're no not plain. falling for it. Plain he said five thirty. We got bullets for the gun. <laughs> Let's do this now. <laughs> also, I think there is this notion of I've waited for the bus long. Like mm. you know, you wait mm. for something. Yeah. You wait for it, you oh, wait yeah. for it, you wait for it. And then after like we gotta 40, see this through. 45 minutes, you're kind of like, well, I've already wasted this much time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I walk you're away now, committed. yeah, you're like, if I walk away now, I lose all together. But yes. if I stick around, maybe something good's gonna happen. I so know. he like Didier kind of like worked that into it, like their <laughs> desire, their loss aversion. Yeah. What a great idea. That's yeah. kind of that genius. is a smart That's guy. That's dumb man. story number two. Dumb guy. story wow, number two. I dumb, love it. Dumb I things love happening it. all over the world. I love it. Uh, Belgium, by the way, hands down, best what? What do you think they're the best? Waffles or chocolate? There's something better than both ladies. Of those. Nope. Canals. Uh, I, 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 you ready? Yeah. yeah. Sconces. French fries. Yo, oh, that guy, dude, with the mayonnaise with fries, with the mayo in it. But you know how they cooked it? Because we had to ask them. Because how? everywhere we went, the fries were incredible in Belgium. Why? You want me to tell you? Because yeah, we, it. we, Chase and I, actually they it asked in baby them. fat, duck fat. Just it's yeah. It's <laughs> they 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 pre cook it first in low oil. Mm-hmm. Take it out. Mm-hmm. And then when you order it, they flash fry it. Oh, come on. And it's over with, bro. Dude, and they roll it in newspaper. It they roll it in they roll newspaper. They roll it in newspaper. newspaper. A cone. Yeah, in a, a cone. Giant cone. Yeah, dude. Oh, I want some. Fuck those a dot with a dollop of mayonnaise on top. I'm yeah. going to think about that through the break. You yeah. guys think about it, too. Joe Coy is with us. we got more dumb people to have. One more story. Dan, we'll we give do. us a little tease of what we're going to be seeing in the last. Uh, uh, an accident on a plane. Good. What? Oh, hey. boy. There's a lot of stuff Not happening. a plane accident. An, an accident, accident on a plane. Which we still got a car. I am Sick. On the plane. I am sick and tired of all these motherfucking accidents on the <laughs> plane. I'm sick and tired of all these accidents on, on the motherfucking, motherfucking plane. Joe Coy is with us. It's Dumb People Town. Stay with us. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. Hey there, Adam Conover here. Humans Who Make Games is my podcast where I sit down with the people who created some of your favorite video games and have the kind of long-form personal conversation we so rarely get to hear. We talk about how they got into the industry, what their favorite games were growing up, and what it's like working in the trenches of this century's greatest new art form. This season, we've got a whole batch of new interviews for you. I talked to Kim Swift from Portal, Alex Preston from Hyperlight Drifter, Anna McGill from Control, and Alex Beecham from the game Outer Wilds. Whether you love video games or you just love learning more about other artists' creative process, I can guarantee you're going to love this podcast. So, you can get season two of Humans Who Make Games wherever you get your podcasts. Take a listen. Hey guys, welcome back to Dumb People Town. Final Hello. segment. Uh, we've loved having you on this. Once again, I want to remind you, listen to The Koi Pond. That is Joe Koi's fantastic podcast with his two great co-hosts. Chase Terrasau is a gem of a man. He did yeah. your podcast, yeah. Hindsight, yeah. your other podcast. Yeah. And I, I, just love love, I just love everybody's energy. Man, oh, you, you, you. you put together a great team where all parts fit together so nicely. So thank I'm going to make another plea to all of our listeners if you want to hear a great podcast of just fun riffage. Koi Pond, check it out. Yes. Start, start with our episode, which is already up. I believe it's like when this thing drops, it will have been up for a couple of weeks. Check that out and then work your way back through people that you love. But he's great. And you, if you don't know Joe Koi, you will become a fan after this. Uh, let's You're jump into up. this last episode. Okay, sent in by Patrick Conley, mm-hmm. at PG Conley, C-O-N-L-E-Y. Thank you, Patrick. Thanks, Patty. Yeah, Pat. Delta. I love the name Conley, by the way. Mm-hmm. I do that's, too. That's a strong name. Mm-hmm. Conley. Yeah. Yeah. Delta has apologized after a Michigan man I don't know if that means he's from there or he just went 
to Michigan. He's a big Michigan fan. Yeah. Okay, Michigan that's man. what you. That's what they call like people who played sports and the girls too, right? It's like you're a Michigan man. You're a Michigan so man. Yeah, so Michigan, Michigan man doesn't when gender Michigan assign. Was looking, it's just the name. When Michigan, Michigan was, was looking for a new coach, yes. head coach, to like he needs to be a, a Michigan, Michigan man. man. I.e., yeah. he went to Michigan. Yeah. So the Michigan man isn't just that big white that's snowy the thing with man. It looks like a bunch of tires. Michelin man, who's really good at cooking, right? No, that's the Michelin stars. Everybody's fucking this up right now. Okay, so the Michelin man isn't from the state of Michelin. No, Joe. Mm. Just tell us how Belgium makes okay. fries again. Sorry okay. about that. They flash. They apologize they flash to right. a Michigan man uh-huh. mm. after he sat in feces uh, left behind oh, by a service man. dog. <laughs> Okay, Why does okay. this not happen Okay, anymore? I was at Arts Deli here in Los Angeles uh-huh. after uh, after hanging with my son. and Studio and, City, you mean? Studio City Arts Deli. One Got of, you. Judd Apatow, one of his favorite spots. Yeah. Not to drop a name. Yeah. So, and also our late father, one of his favorite restaurants. Oh, now. you should have went there first instead of Judd Apatow. Well, I ended with my favorite. No, Judd's so, yeah, okay, cool. Judd is our father. No. <laughs> oh, Judd. <laughs> He's our comedy dad. <laughs> uh, he was just late to tell us. That's why I'm in oh. late. No, so, all right. So, we... so. I go to the bathroom yeah. and I go to wash my hands. We've just eaten a meal, and there's a guy and there's a guy in there with his dog. I'm like, wasn't there a time in this country where if like you brought a dog in a restaurant, they're yeah. like, hey, hey, get it out of here. Yeah, get that we thing got out a, of here. We got a B rating. I don't yeah. want to drop down to a C. Yeah, we have to wear hair nets. Right? We have to wash How's our hands. Dog bring in walking? a walking thing of hair in here. Get out of here. I'm, I'm trying like, to serve pastrami. Bring back smoking before the dog <laughs> Yeah, the exactly. I want I was, a smoking section. So there's a thing now where they're getting very loose with who gets mm-hmm. to bring their dog onto a plane. Like the idea Bro. of a comfort animal being like, just, I understand for some people flying and anxiety. I completely sure. get it. And if a dog is the thing that will get you calm you down, like we we were, I was just on a flight back to St. Louis with my whole family, yes. and next to my wife, two seats down, was a woman with a little French bulldog, and it was, and I could tell that the bulldog, the little dog was there to calm her down. Yeah. Sure. The entire flight, she reached down and she was like petting this dog. I'm like, that's what a, that's what a service, not a service dog, but that's what a yeah. comfort yeah, animal yeah, yeah, yeah. is. Right. Totally. This woman who you could tell had anxiety about flying was completely soothed by the fact that she was petting her dog. Like yeah. that's exactly what it's there yep. for. But I can't believe this doesn't happen I mean, more you, often. You just sit in dog shit. Yeah. This is what I don't like. I paid a lot of money for my seat. Mm-hmm. And I go to my seat. First of all, you should warn me that there's a service dog because not everybody can sit next to a, a dog. Right. right. And two, it was a German shepherd. Why? Wow. That's both seats laying across our feet. <laughs> his his face was on my foot. Now, don't get me wrong. You I mid-flight, it. I fell in love with the dog. Of course. Sure. But initially, when I sat down, I fucking hated well, because, this dog. Well, because now it's in... It's in my space that I paid for. It's all I paid about a lot of money for. It. And that was not part of your No, you got to tell us about that. You didn't say I can't wait to get on my flight today so that I can be have a dog on my foot. Yeah, and you didn't I'm think gotta wear this nice outfit because it's gonna be smothered in and dog, dog hair, hair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and just slobber and dog hair. All right, so what right. happened? Bay what City it? resident Matthew Meehan had already sat down on his flight from Matthew Atlanta Meehan to Miami. Is, is the name of a guy yeah. whose whose shirts are a little too tight around yeah. his neck, so there's yeah. a little bit of neck, a little like bit of neck fat over. coming over. Yeah, he get when he gets drunk and when he gets angry, his face gets really red. You know what else? <laughs> you know what else? When he takes off his sports coat, you find out that the 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 dress up shirt was a short sleeve shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a short yeah. sleeve shirt with a tie. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like you see it, you're Meehan. like, oh, you're well dressed, and oh, then he takes off like, ah, oh, this. Fuck and he so, constantly corrects people who call him Matt. Yo, he does. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Matthew. Matthew. It's, it's Matthew. Matthew. Hey, it's Matthew. Matthew. Hey, Matthew. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yep, yep, yep. whoa. It's Matthew. My uncle called me Matt, and I fucking hated it. <laughs> Uh, he had already sat down on his flight from Atlanta to Miami on November 1st when he realized that feces was all over his seat and the surrounding floor. This dog let it ride. Yeah, this dog, this dog. What did he do? Did he just shoot it out his ass? And, and by the way, what did the cleaning crew who like cleaned up, that, were they, they just, just like, skip that? Fuck it. Yep. Yeah. Did they, <laughs> they <laughs> what did, did they do? They definitely did. Because like, yeah, that was the cleaning crew for sure. Because they go through each aisle. Each, each aisle. Each aisle. Don't each you seat. smell that as you're heading towards the seat? If it's all seat. over the seat and all over the floor. Right. That's you just, cleaning crew. you just, the cleaning crew was And you like, know that this. this was obviously the last flight of this plane of who the day. Who cleaned this plane? That, that, uh, attend, uh, that flight attendant was like, nope, last flight. I'm now, not dealing with this. First of all, who cleaned the plane? Was it like my son? Because that's how my son cleans the room. Yeah. <laughs> like he exactly. sees dog shit, he kicks it underneath the bed. No. Yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yes, it's going to get hard, but stop. Yeah, it was, it was that's all, when I'll get it, dad. <laughs> it was all over his seat and the surrounding floor. A quote oh. from Matthew Meehan, just <laughs> five words. I was literally in it. <laughs> yeah, you were, buddy. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I was literally in it. It yeah. described so many things. So Meehan much. said he asked flight attendants for help cleaning up. Here's what they provided him yeah, when he asked them if one he small could na- get something to clean up the mess. One he didn't. small napkin. Let's just say. Let's just say the airline one more time so everyone can understand. Delta. Delta. What? Delta. Okay. Delta Airlines. They only provided Matthew Meehan two paper towels and a small bottle of Bombay Sapphire Un- Gin. <laughs> Are you kidding? Here, me? drink no, this. You'll no, forget about two it. paper towels and a little bit of gin. Gin. Yeah. Oh my God. Smother some gin on that dog Cause shit. Because what takes do you do right in that out. moment? You're you're screwed. It's not like you have extra clothes. Nope. You're not a yeah. two year old. What are you right. gonna do? He That's, cleaned. By it. the way, that is why. Yeah. And now now listening to this, I mean, it'd be one. That thing. is why I'm always going to bring an extra pair of pants. <laughs> yeah. In, well, don't wait. Don't you guys all? I in always your, pack. In your carry on, yeah. like one. Well, I, extra don't I don't know about my carry on, but I always pack two more pairs of underwear than I need. Oh, oh, I always just do. Oh, oh, I always do that. I'm saying in your carry-on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine, like, what if this happens? I feel like this is going to well, happen more I, often. I, wait, I, a minute, I, uh, wait a minute. I, my carry-on has outfits in it. What are you talking about? What okay. do you carry? Dude, what not, do you have? Books and and Books? And what the computer fuck are you stuff? doing? Wait, wait, what do are you, you doing? Oh, he has like I a know, satchel bag. You're right. Bag. Wait a minute. You Wait, hold on. I want we still travel with No, no, no. Listen to me. This is dumb people town. This is dumb people town, and you are dumb right now. You just said it. You just said it as if no one put fucking clothes in their overhead carry-on. I'm saying I need to. No, no, no. No, but the Joe, he, said it, Joe, he said it matter yeah, of fact yeah. as the if difference. everyone carries no, no, no. books and uh, goddamn Joe computers. has a guy who or someone who brings his merch. Yes. We bring our own merch. And so that's why we have to take giant <laughs> suitcases filled with our merch. So we just established like a well, stand-up gonna, class right, structure. I'm going to yeah, give another airplane he's, he's caution. He's in a better spot than we are. Yeah. Whenever, I mean, this first is a pro class. tip. It's bigger bins up on, uh, in first uh, class. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. 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 We fly enough that it may have already happened to you. But if you fly as much as we do, it's definitely going to happen to you. Yeah. You need to start. There's a pro tip. A lot of people are traveling around the holidays. When you sit down on your seat, yeah, touch the floor where your feet are going to be, <sighs> because you touch. never know if somebody has spilled nope. soda, coffee, that is good, water. Right? That and is you're such about a good tip. to take your, your bag. Shoes, no, you're about to take your shoes off. Yes, yeah, and your bag, your bag, like you put underneath. your nice book bag or something like that, and you set it. And it's going to be sitting there for hours before you it. even know that's that right. it's there. Yeah, so yeah. it call. happened to me. It happened to me too. Yes, that pissed me off. That's a pro. And I hate wet socks. Oh, you ever put socks on and you you walk over like a wet footprint that you came out of the shower in? Now you got a wet sock. Yep, you're done. It's the worst. You're done. Mm-hmm. It's the that worst. You cannot come back. It's almost as bad as sitting in dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if it's that bad. <laughs> this, what we're talking about with the bags in socks is Probably way worse. Way worse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, what yeah, the yeah. hell did this guy do? Well, what that's did the they thing. So he got paper towel and, and gin to not just clean off the seat. It's not like he's like, oh, there's something on the seat. He's got to clean himself and the oh seat. Is the gin to shut him up or is that part of the clean? Gin is like you need something. I've never heard that before. You know when they made Arm and Hammer baking soda? like They made baking soda for a specific Specific reason, baking, and then all of a sudden they were like, "Hey, we can clean shit with it. You can clean shit with it, and now we market it. Do we do the same thing with this gin? <laughs> does this gin? Bombay. Does the gin go? Hey, it'll fuck you up on a Saturday, <laughs> but, but you ever sit in dog shit? Uh, rub this on man, there. We got, got you covered. Yeah. yeah, we got you covered. Uh, he cleaned himself as, and the seat as best he could. When he spoke to a manager, he said she was dismissive and asked what his problem was. Oh my god! god. Uh, fuck. I, I would be. I, that, would, I would try to not get mad and be like. I'd like to thank you for whatever money I'm going to get based yep. off what you for just said. Yeah. I want to record getting. you saying Yeah, yeah. This one more me. time. Can we just say the airlines? Just yeah. one more Delta. Delta. Airlines. Look, they are the fucking worst. <laughs> I swear to God, man. You ask but them for help wanted- and they will direct you to that goddamn kiosk section oh. in a heartbeat. <laughs> Customer it. service is not in their goddamn mm-hmm. model at all. But if Apparently they want to sponsor not. Dumb People Town, we will strike this we'll story. Hands America. down, Delta, please. Thank you. Sponsor Dumb People Town. He said, quote, this is Matt. Matthew again. I had to step back for Fly a moment. Fly Delta, where we don't give a shit. Yeah. Hey, well, we do, or we do I give mean, a we shit. We do give a shit, but seat. we don't give yeah. a shit. Right. Right. We'll clean uh, it up with gin. Matthew said, quote, I had to step back for a moment and say, all right, keep your composure. You do not want to be one of those people you see in the news getting kicked off a plane. I Meanwhile, Dude, I'm I love covered that in the, feces. I, I, I love that he had enough. the foresight to like, so calm. This guy's, uh, uh, take what I thought about him about his head getting red as a beat anytime he gets angry. This dude is doing some great critical thinking in the moment. Well, here's what he Hopefully, and don't ahead, all Drew. Matthews talk in the third person? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All of them, right? Matthew no, I, McConaughey Matthew, always does, does it. Yeah. Every movie Matthew he talks Barry, to himself. Yeah. Matthew Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew they, Perry for sure. 
Here's the thing. Clay Matthews. Clay Matthews, Clay Matthews does it. Oh. Every play, he every, talks to himself. Every does commercial. he not? Every, every commercial. Every commercial. Every time. Here's the, what I'm hoping is that he was. The Dave Matthews band. <laughs> Thank you very Am much. I right? The yes, Dave absolutely. Matthews band. Before they do their set, they always talk Chris to themselves. Before they chop shit out of their bus. Out of their bus. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. right before the shit. And then it's smothered in gin. Oh, God. Right. But I hope right. he just was had a clear enough head to be like, the ball's in my court. Right? Yeah, I got yeah, this. Yeah, so yeah, if I, I freak out, yeah, I'm going to send it back to their court. And now I'm the guy who freaked out. Court. Yes. Can I make a suggestion? Yes. Go for it. Don't only just talk to yourself. Get your phone and record the of situation. Course. Oh, yeah. Record your situation and hope it gets on CNN. Oh, yes. That will buy you a house. Um, he and his fellow passengers laid a blanket down on their seats for the remainder of the flight. Oh Upon God. arrival, the aircraft was taken out of service to be cleaned and disinfected. According to Delta, an ill service animal was aboard the previous flight. Meehan was offered a full refund and an adi- and additional compensation. Yeah. What give him that? whatever that means. Give him the plane. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The safety and health of our customers and employees are top priority. Yeah. And we are conducting a full investigation while following up the right teams. Uh-huh. So not the wrong ones anymore right, yeah. to prevent this from happening again. That's the airliner statement in yeah, part. This there airline thing situation is starting to make me mad where they're, Just, they're acting as if they're not customer service anymore. We're here know. to save you guys. If anything goes down, yeah. that's why we're here. And <laughs> that's it. Uh, serving you drinks. is just something we want to do to kill time. But enjoy Go sitting in yourself. that dog shit. <laughs> don't even Go do fuck it. yourself. And we paid a ton of money for these seats. Get me a goddamn blanket and a goddamn steam cleaner. Mm-hmm. Figure, yeah. it the out. Seat. Or, Figure it out. That's, that's what, what your job is. Saying, yeah. Or let's go walk up to first class and see if you sold all those tickets. Yeah, if you did I'm guessing those, usually you didn't. You usually didn't. That's what I want to sit next to Joe Coy. That's I'll, just my way. That. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm at. Because he's going to be on there. those leather seats. All right, all right that's how we do. Joe it's Coy. Town. I want everyone to check out the Koi Pond. Like we said, follow him. Go see him live wherever he is. Uh, J-O-K-O-Y dot com to check out all of his dates. Follow him on Twitter. Follow him on Instagram. He is great. I'm so happy you, you did Dude, I shot another those. Netflix special. When is that? It's coming out 2019, man. Yeah, baby. Please, I'm excited for this one. You're going to love it. Thank you. you. Love Congratulations. It. Check them out live and then check them out and go back and watch his Netflix specials. Boom. There you go. And uh, oh shit, we're going to get back to work. Dum, 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 Stick around. Make a sound. Come down. It's dumb people town. It's a good show.